President Trump made a startling acknowledgement today, saying that he believes impeachment in the House is all but a foregone conclusion. The impeachment inquiry heats up again tomorrow as American diplomat Bill Taylor, who worked at the Ukrainian embassy, tells his side of the story. Major Garrett has more tonight on the president lashing out at members of his own party. The Republicans have to get tougher and fight. We have some that are great fighters, but they have to get tougher and fight. Because Fearing Republican defections, President Trump tried to rally his allies on Capitol Hill, again declaring the House impeachment inquiry a Democratic hit job designed to block his reelection. They're vicious and they stick together. They don't have Mitt Romney in their midst. Utah Senator Mitt Romney drew the president's ire for criticism over his Syria policy and approach to race. I think the, the places where I would be most critical of the president would be in matters that were divisive, that appeared to be uh, appealing to racism or misogyny. Romney also admitted to using an anonymous Twitter account, Pierre Delecto, to criticize the president. Even staunch supporter Lindsey Graham of South Carolina said he'd be open to impeachment if the president committed a crime. I find him to be a handful. I find him to be an equal opportunity abuser of people. But at the end of the day, uh, he can be very charming and be very gracious. The president ignored questions about acting chief of staff Mick Mulvaney, who admitted the White House sought a politically charged investigation in exchange for foreign aid and said the president's golf club would host the G7, a decision Mr. Trump reversed over the weekend. Critics said the move would have violated the emoluments clause, which forbids a president from profiting from governments, both foreign and domestic. I don't think uh, you people with this phony emoluments clause. Major joins us from the White House tonight. So, Major, what have you learned from your reporting? Is the president looking to replace his chief of staff? What we know for sure, Nora, is there is an internal power struggle going on. Numerous sources here tell me that White House counsel Pat Cipollone is vying aggressively for Mulvaney's job. And Mulvaney allies acknowledge he is facing the most turbulent waters of his tenure as acting chief of staff. But they say his knowledge of congressional politics, budget and regulations give him an advantage, at least for now. Both men, Mulvaney and Cipollone, are enmeshed in the Ukraine controversy. And my sources tell me the president might in the end decide to keep both men where they are to minimize West Wing turmoil and maximize supervision. All right, Major, thank you.